and welcome to Personal Finance. I'm going to give you a brief introduction of the course and walk you around Blackboard a little bit. So to begin with, let's define what we're going to do in this course. So there's three main things that we're going to do. One is we're going to help you define your personal financial goals. Second, we're going to build your financial skills. And number three, we're going to create and implement your personal financial plan. In order to do this, we're going to have some assignments, right, that you have to complete. So there's going to be some weekly assignments you're going to have to do. The first set of weekly assignments are weekly reflection journal. So we see over here on the left in Blackboard, there's a reflection journal link. In order to create that journal entry, you're going to need to do it at, by the end of each week. You're going to go to here to this link, Weekly Reflection Journal. You can click on Create Journal Entry. And when you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to actually answer these five questions in that journal entry. And the main goal of this is to... Hello, so this is an update for the personal finance intro video. I need to talk to you about a couple of things. First, I need to talk to you about a new... Uh, link structure that I placed here on the website. So this new link right here, it's called Assignments by Week. It's going to order everything for you by week that you need to be doing, or that, you, that is due that week. So you can go in there and it'll have the weeks lined out in folders. So you can go to a specific folder and it will tell you the things that are due that week. For example, week one, you're going to have a, a a check-in assignment, a quiz, your reflection journal, and and those are going to be the things that are going to be due for week one. So you can follow what's due by going to the syllabus and following that outline, or you can go week by week uh, by the assignments by week uh, link. I would use both. If you have any questions, cross-reference both, and if there are still questions, contact me. So there's, there's something else I need to talk to you about, the weekly reflection journal. So as you do weekly reflection journals, uh, one of the differences or one of the updates that I made was I moved the question, I changed the questions that you're going to be reflecting on to include uh, a couple of questions, well, one question about Total Money Makeover book, the Dave Ramsey book that we're reading in the class. So this is really where you're going to report back that you are reading the book is in the reflection journals. So I need you to finish the book uh, by the time you turn in your personal financial plan. And this is a weekly way for you to remember to continue to read the book and to really give me some feedback on things you're learning in the class. So that's one change. So only four things to respond on on the weekly journal. The other change that was made is in the personal financial plan. Uh, there's, there's gonna be uh, a draft that's due at midterm, which in uh, the normal terms is week five. For summer term, it would be week four. But for a uh, week five in uh, the, say for fall, winter, or spring, the, the draft is worth 100 points. And really what I need from you is I need a financial plan that's gonna have everything addressed that we're gonna talk about from chapters one through eight. Last time I did this video, we had a different book, so those chapters are going to cover different content, but in the current book, it's going to be chapters one through eight, and uh, it's going to be worth 100 points. Just give me what you have up to that point. The main purpose of this uh, midterm draft is just to make sure you are doing something and you've started it before finals week. <laughs> so want to make sure you're up and going on it early on in the term, at least by midterm. And then, uh, so we're going to have 100 points for that, and then the final draft that's due uh, at the end of the term, which is actually week 10 of the term, the week before finals week, the personal financial plan, the final submission is due, and that's going to be worth 30 points. Just so you know, the course is 1,000 points, so the total financial, uh, personal financial plan uh, draft and final is worth 40% of your grade. So if you want a, at least a passing grade in the class, you need to do the a personal financial plan and hopefully you need to do it well if you want an A. So 
Uh, thanks for uh, getting the update. If you have any questions, continue watching the video, and we'll talk to you later. Bye. You're going to have 10 of these throughout the term. If we're on a normal uh, fall, winter, spring term in the uh, summer, you're only going to have eight uh, if you're doing it during summer term. So anyways, 10 during the normal terms, uh, normal academic year, and then really you're going to be able to get all of the points that are required from just doing these weekly. So these are pretty easy points. The next assignment that you're going to have in the course, uh, and these are ne aren't necessarily in order, right? So th these are things that you can do um, one before the other, whatever you want to do weekly. So another weekly assignment is to do the weekly content quiz. So they're lined out by chapter. Typically we cover about a chapter a week. At the end of the course, we're going to be covering more than a chapter a week or we're going to cover basically a broad topic within these chapters. You can take the quizzes as many times as you want and as long as it's by the due date. The due date's going to be the end of the week. Take a look at the syllabus. The syllabus has all the due dates um, lined out, dates and times lined out for each of these assignments. And finally, the last thing you're going to need to do every week is a weekly check-in assignment. So the main assignment in the class is to do a personal financial plan. And in order to help you build up to that, there's a couple things that, we, that I want you to do. One of them is to do the check-in assignments. So the check-in assignments is right here. It's You go through the personal financial plan link on the left. You hit the uh, weekly check-in assignments, PFP. PFP stands for personal financial plan, right? And so we're gonna go in there. There's 10 of these assignments. And the idea is you're going to do one a week. There's black and blue. So the black assignments are discussion board assignments. So you need to answer the question or give a give a, a response to uh, the assignment, right, to the discussion. And then you're gonna need to read your classmates post and respond. So you need to do both of these things in order to receive a grade in the class. You don't have to respond to everybody. Uh, they respond to at least one classmate or a couple. Uh, I need to at least have you do, uh, do your own thread Right, so you're going to go in here to discussion. You're going to need to click create thread. Okay, so to create your own. So I need you to create a thread. And then I need you to go in here and look at uh, somebody else's thread. And I need you to reply to their thread. So read it and reply. And um, really the only thing that I deduct points on this is if you really don't put any effort into it. So if your reply is, oh, good idea, that's not going to be a big enough reply. I want you to actually give them some feedback that will help them, right, the classmate, or a little more substantial than just your your first thought as you read the their post. So anyways, uh, that's the weekly assignments. Reflection journal, weekly quiz, and then the weekly check-in assignment. Let's go back to the check-in assignments real quick. So we, the discussion Posts were, were one. Those are the black ones. Every other week, you're going to also need to do an actual assignment. And so what that is, is you actually need to put some documents together, possibly a picture. I have you do some selfies just to prove that you went and did something that I need you to do for the class. And I need you to take those files and submit them through these blue links here, so the assignment links. So what you need to do to do that is you need to browse your computer and attach either picture pictures or Word documents or PDFs, those type of things, to uh, and then submit uh, those documents for your assignment. So th those are the weekly check-in assignments. The last thing that we need to do in this course, right, is to do the actual personal financial plan. Doing the check-in assignments is going to help you because that's going to follow part of what you need to do for, the, for your plan. I'm excited to have you in the class. Feel free to contact me anytime email, phone, uh, it's all in the syllabus. Uh, you can come by my office during office hours or schedule an appointment and I'll make a, make a time to, to meet with you. We can meet in person or over the internet vir using virtual office. So let me know and we'll, I'll help you out. I'd love to help you if you have any questions. Have a good day, bye.